just inflation, that's no good. Don't even get in. Well, I got a little bit. Let's just get rid of it. I don't need patriarch authority. It's not something I'm looking for right now. Pull the trigger, Jake. Don't tempt me. Because it would get me killed. The Golden Horde being uh, there was the biggest barrier to me doing that. It would tie up and ruin the Polish-Lithuanian forces to the point where the Ottomans would uh, roll me fairly swiftly if the Austrians were willing to get involved as well. That's a different story. But the Austrians are just pathetic when it comes to handling their money. Which is funny because I'm pretty sure they are na uh, one of their national ideas revolves around that. Hmm. Bad times. Oh wow, where's everyone coming from? Nothing to see here, folks. Go home. Is this Iron Man or not? Yeah, this is Iron Man. At least I hope so, because if it's not Iron Man, something has gone terribly wrong. Okay, ah, uh, no wonder they were having trouble. A six shock in the mountains, pretender. Yeah, it's a bad time to be Austria. <sighs> okay. I know we said it before, but it's surely just a matter of time before they come for us. Then we'll show them, right? I don't like this, they're on the move. Why? Why is Austria on the move? Can you really? Why are they on the move? If they want to help me out with things, there are ways to do that. Since I actually have a bit of uh, power from Can Constantinople, it might be worth my time collecting using this guy. And our <laughs> diplomats are going to waste, as they usually do. Ah, okay. Bang goes any chance of getting you on my side since I al since I have allied Poland. Muscovy is going to see no use in having me on his side. A lovely situation would be if Muscovy went to war with the Golden Horde. At least that would uh, get them off my back. All right, may as well speed four since truly nothing is going on. And we can afford to make the same mistake again with our entire army. Jake, even Muscovy won't settle for Poland. You're hurting me, man. Okay, well, look on the plus side. At least now we can claim Sinop. Still, you're taking far too long with this war. You need to finish it up, man. Take your core. Actually, having Hungary on my side whilst they hate the Ottomans could be rather nice. They've dropped all their... Okay, Poland wouldn't like me allying Hungary, but Poland can suck a fat one in that regard. Since I need all the warm bodies I can throw at the Otto scum. Otherwise, I am going up in flames. Hmm, I noticed that way too late. Because an alliance with you is going to be tricky. But not out of the realms of possibility, not when a marriage is so close. Okay, that's going to be the end of Ak Komliu. Jake, declare war on auto scum when they inevitably attack the Mamluks. Pretty good idea, but I'm not a fan of all this waiting around. 
truly drives me up the wall. Oh, let's not click on that whilst we have dip to spend. Lovely event. You've been very generous giving it to me. Jake, why not keep the fleet in Gores? Because I do not have fleet basing rights from Austria, and I don't want to pay for such a thing. You know me and paying money, it just doesn't happen. I can't even fight Kandar because Ottomans are still warning me. They are warning me until 67. A whole lot of time of nothing passing by, but that can often be the case with these uh, more fragile countries. Not a fan of being below force limit either. But I love having half decent manpower. Oh, he's moving towards me. Sadly, we are just a little bit too far away from getting the uh, Hungarians on our side. Doesn't stop us being cheesy with a bit of the yo-yo uh, diplomat technique. I said yo-yo, not YOLO. Jake, check Naxus Venice alliances again. They probably still have Castile around their little finger, and they do. Alright, next month we can get the marriage, and the alliance shall follow suit. And if that is the case, I would have no problem throwing Poland and Hungary at them. Especially since we're all Tech 4 around here. Sure, the Golden Horde would get involved, and sure, that would be pretty horrible. That would be a lot of men to throw at Otto Scum. Still, a better situation would be wait for them to declare their next war, whether it's me or otherwise. Jake, will you miss Yo Yo Diplomatic Technic in 1.12? Did we get rid of that? Hmm. Glorious getting hungry on our side. Hopefully, won't perturb the uh, Polish too much. Almost feels like cheating having all these big, bulky alliances, but when it comes to smashing the Turk, I will take anything that's going. Oh, also. Going to need that military access from you, buddy. Since your troops won't get exiled if they are stuck inside uh, an ally's provinces. Oh, don't you dare be fighting Bosnia right now. I need you for the Ottomans. I wonder how well this would go. Poland, Lithuania, and Hungary but not my good friend Austria. And I'm so close to getting Austria. If they would just pay off their debt and my king would die, then I would have this in the bag. Oh, speaking of, let's get that king in charge of my troops. Come on, Austria, don't make me pay your debt off for you. That would be embarrassing. Also, if my uh, diplomatic reputation guy dies, that's another problem. Couldn't hurt to have more units. Mm, giving them money wouldn't be enough to get them to join in this war. But a smidgen of diplomatic reputation would. Just a smidgen. Trust ticks up very slowly. I would need three points here. Sadly, unlikely to happen. Unless, of course, my king dies, you know, somewhere in the region of right now. Alright, so the Ottomans are now going for Dolkadir. Sadly, Mamluks did not get involved there. Thankfully, the Mamluks did take one province of use. But this could be an opportunity to smash the Ottomans. But I'll say it again, I'd be a lot happier if Austria were involved as well, especially since the Golden Horde are just going to suck up Polish and Lithuanian troops. Because that's what they're good at. Oh yes, yeah, sure enough, they did go to war with Bosnia. Wouldn't stop them getting involved here, but we know the AI and their wars. 
they can be fairly terrible at it. Jake tried to get the Mamluks getting an, awe. an alliance with the Mamluks is pretty far outside of the realms of possibility. But it might not hurt to get them in my good books in case when I inevitably destroy the Turk, they don't get too much aggressive expansion with me. Jake, first probable ideas. There is really only one idea you're going to catch me taking first in this kind of campaign, and that is religious. Too many targets. And uh, let's just say I have a plan for it. That's right, a plan on one of my streams. I never thought I'd see the day. Alright, something that can almost be called a respectable army. But still... No, oh man, now Hungary's out of it. It begins. Oh well. Safe in the knowledge that nothing is really going to be happening. Ooh, now this would be a way. If I declared war on Venice, the Ottomans would get involved. And Austria would get involved. No, that, that would be biting off way too much. And the same problem as before when I was thinking about taking Naxus would arrive. Well, at the very least, our autonomy's been going down from all this. <sighs> yeah, sadly, nobody's interested in the whole Kandar fight. Jake, this will be a hard challenge, not because of the strong Ottomans, but the Mamluks will be a threat if you let them not get weak. <coughs> was it Theodora where the Mamluks slapped me silly? It was probably that. The trouble is the Ottomans have now hit military tech 5, which is uh, horrible because it also gives tactics. No, it doesn't give tactics. Why is 5 so good? There it is. Improved infantry shock. Jeez, Jake, I thought you knew your uh, your text better. So close. So agonizingly close to getting Austria to jump the Ottomans. Well, you need to live on, my friend. Oh, goody gumdrops. The Ottomans are uh, in with another Chuck Norris leader. How terrible that I'm still not allowed any uh, rivals. Didn't even let me rival Bosnia. Where is the fairness in that? Also, as if in preparation for common sense, Hungary just does not want to uh, carpet siege here. Jake, would a gift to Austria be enough to push them over the edge? No, it's not relation that matters when uh, drawing people into these wars. It's really trust and diplomatic reputation that matter. Let's keep everyone on our good side, though. Probably better to keep a wild card so that I can take note. So close! Why are you gonna be like this, Austria? It's you I need. You and all your Dutch might. Which is my better legitimacy that I need, but let's not voice that too loudly. Best thing that could happen for my nation right now is that my ruler dies. But he wants to live on and live strong. 
Lithuania is in personal union under Poland, unless Poland suddenly get low legitimacy. Another nice thing would be the Golden Horde not getting involved in this war. Then I wouldn't bother about it, I would just throw everything we have against them. But another war scratched off, and Dulcadir are inside the Ottomans. They grow bigger and stronger with every passing day, and we don't like that at all. Well, at the very least, I can push Tech 4. Yeah, we can almost fight as equals, but nowhere near. Come on, this is getting embarrassing. And now Hungary really don't want to join in because of attitude towards enemies? You lost Ottomans as a rival? That's crazy. And bad news for me. Very bad news for me. Well, on the other, other side of it... Oh, you're at war with Austria now. I don't see Austria making much of a move here. But this is a really big pain for me, because it means that Austria is going to enjoy... A lovely little truce with the Ottomans. Of course, if Aut if Austria were to move their troops... No! No, this isn't a war on my terms. This isn't a war on my terms at all. This is actually pretty horrible. Okay, my options are to just throw everything at the Ottomans and hope that Austria really fights them hard. Well, there goes the Ottoman fleet. So you know what? Sometimes you just have to strike out on your own. Come on, Poland, help me out. This is probably going to exile my troops, though. And they would have to walk home to be unexiled, walk through all this. But you know what? That's acceptable. When we uh, call it the claim of Tirhala whilst we're at it. And we've still got all of our claims on them. I mind a claim on that since it's a lovely important centre of trade. Alright, come on Poland, let's go. We shall take Tirhala for ourselves. Oh, doesn't look like they're exiled. Get that fleet paid, get everyone paid. Fort Defense Man, I will take you if I start being under siege, and now I will accept this. Won't draw me into a war, because I'm already my own one with the Ottomans. Golden Horde join in, Tunis join in. Numbers not so favorable for us, but with a bit of luck, the Ottomans will exhaust themselves, and with even more luck, the Strait will be a bit of a killer for them. Oh, Mamluks, you are too generous sometimes. Jake, Poland is off to Golden Horde. Oh, yeah. That's to be expected. Now, my troops are uh, essentially made of straw. They are not going to survive any real combat. But we have to make the most of this. Looks like something... Looks like... Genoa, or was it Golden Horde? Yeah, Golden Horde started something really bad. There is a huge downside to this, and that is the fact that Golden Horde and Genoa are the war leaders. Genoa is currently mm, in a little spot of bother. So we need to make the most of this, and we need to act fast. We need that Ottoman army scrubbed. We need that navy sank. Oh hell, if their navy entirely got uh, destroyed then that would be the biggest blessing we could get. Unfortunately, that requires Austria, the Papal State, and Genoa to have a combined enormous fleet. But they did just pick off half of the uh, Ottoman fleet, roughly. So what we're going to do is we are going to... You know what, I don't fancy losing two stability for you dying. We're going to do what we can... in taking our war goal. 
And if possible, we want to get involved in some meaty battles. You're going to fight them there, but that's Mazovia and Poland who are a tech behind you. Cleves will cleave on in, and it looks like Austria want a piece of that pie as well. However, you have like a three shock general. And then they also have three shock. No river crossing, but you know, sometimes if you have a bit of faith, patience, and luck, it'll all just come together. We'll snake around this whole greasy situation and take Greek Orthodox provinces as and where we can. We want to focus on the Greek Orthodox provinces as quickly as we can because there's every chance that an event will pop up giving us a core. Ederine is too high risk, let's not march on Ederine. Monastir, on the other hand, that I could go for. And I want to join in this battle, if only so I can get a lovely chunk of prestige and army tradition for it. I certainly do not want to be on the front lines, so let's arrive in Viden the day after you do, or as close to that as we can. Oh nice, it all works out. Come on, scum! I got your number. Now what are the odds that our troops will find their way into the front line anyway? Oh, that's not so nice. Hello, Ottoman army. I'm not here. Let's just slither our way out, not in. I wonder what they're going to go for. Jake, any orthodox land? Yeah, yeah. Whew, glad we're getting out of there in time. Maybe just maybe we can slip by undetected. Let Austria do all the heavy lifting. <sighs> no, Kosovo. Kosovo, whatever. The gold should be ours. Interesting tactic. But I'll believe in it. I almost wish I had kept a galley here, a suicide galley, no less. Okay, they're rocking the eight galleys, but I'm not sure if that will be sufficient. <sighs> not so, not so nice at all. They got repelled rather easily, and you're making your way over to Philbe on the 19th. Thankfully, we can all get out of there, but I have to hope that our allies are. Very keen to go for you. Let's also do our little trick as and when we can, since our numbers are a little on the low side. Unfortunately, they are rocking this... Uh, hmm, yeah, Kosovo is a slightly bigger target for us right now. Okay. Counting on you, man. Go for them. Don't let them snake their way over to me, please. Jake, can you bring in Hungary now? Sadly, because they de-rivaled the Ottomans, they are not interested in any of that jazz. So really, I was only able to bring in one of my allies. However... Hmm. Well, if you want to go that way, I'm not going to stop you. With a bit of luck... Now Austria's not in this war, so we can't transfer sieges over to me. We really need to capitalize on this as much as we can, because once the others leave the war, we are wide open. Come on, Austria, you need to represent. Ah, not that bug. Arrive on the uh, day of defeat and you will be sent packing. Why is he running this direction, though? What's even on this side? Uh, this is pretty dokey dokey. Not really all that interested in Albania, but I think it might be in my interests to throw units over on Selenik. Because at some point, Austria is probably going to ditch this siege, and I want to be there when he does. I mean, the Ottomans are down, but not out. Not by a long shot. 
and as long as our friends fail to see the merit in blockading the Great Strait. Oh, jeez. What a Mexican standoff. And this is what I mean. Hopefully, the Ottomans make it first. They will. They have three maneuver, but we have four, so they should take a crossing penalty. They do not, because they didn't use the Cleves General. And as expected, Austria ditched this into our uh, intensive care. We're going to ready up for something here. They are probably, hopefully, going to be slightly more interested in blocking the straight than killing me, but uh, they do seem to also want to go to that sea on the 25th. We'll be there on the 1st of April. They'll be out of there on the 1st of April. This doesn't look so good. We can get to Athens on the 6th of April. Just want to be sure that you don't make your way back into the sea. Yeah, you are going there, but not before we dock. Right, can't we do something about this? I mean, I'm glad they're losing, but if they got wiped, that would be something else. Give it a couple of days. This probably won't work. I should have planned ahead and stuck a boat here. Not that it's too late. The situation might uh, present itself soon enough. Sadly. Even if I were to go straight there, I would make it on the 23rd. You know what? It's almost worth it for one galley, because you will shatter. They will go this way, and the, uh, the boats might stop. Worst case scenario, I lose a galley. Okay, I need you to shatter roughly now, please. Oh, this isn't so hot. Nope. Nada. Oh well, I tried. Sometimes you just don't win them all. That could have wiped the entire army if I just kept a boat here, but I didn't. only one battle. It could well be more. At least the sieges are going our way. The Palatinate. Jack claiming it in their own name. Badass. Whilst the Ottomans are fairly keen on uh, just taking the capital there. If I can separate piece out the Golden Horde, that would be fine and dandy, but don't see it happening, frankly. Don't worry, Jake, the MAM is waiting for them. The MAM is one tech, almost two behind them. I say almost two because MAM looks tech painfully slowly. Trust me, I was speaking to the Arabia player. Okay, so here they come again, and hopefully they don't siege Constantinople. Good, they don't, because our boat is almost... Ah, get the hell out of here. Excellent, we got something. Yanya is not worth our time, because it's... Uh, not our religion. But most other things are... I don't want to suicide a galley over this stack. Really don't want to suicide a galley over this stack. But, I mean, it's only a galley. There we go. And that's the end of that stack. Sure, do you know what? I'll play ball with you. Oh, what? What am I doing here? Making terrible mistakes. Jake Yanya is still war score, yeah, but it's revolting war score. 
I want to focus on the uh, orthodox provinces because 